Look at the following example, we're going to apply integration by parts again. So here we have a function x, natural logarithm of x, ln x, and again we will try to get rid of a complex term, which in this case will be the ln of x. So suppose we take fx equals ln of x, and this is the function we're going to take a derivative of which is 1 over x, and uh, g of x equals g prime of x equals x, and this is the function we will take a primitive of. So a primitive of this function is given by a half times x squared. So using integration by parts, we see that this equals g of x times f of x is a half times x squared times ln of x minus the primitive of the function x, which is a half times x squared times the derivative of ln x. Yeah, now we see that again we get on the right hand side, we get a, a much easier remainder integral since one of the terms x cancels against 1 over x. So we get our remaining problem is to solve for a primitive of a half times x, but that's not really an issue, right? So we get as a primitive half times x squared ln x minus 1 over 4 x squared plus an integration constant. So another example, we try to find a primitive of the function ln x. Well, you would say, well, if, if we use partial integration, there's no product. Well, we can make it a product by writing ln x as 1 times ln x. And we're going to integrate the term 1, and we're going to differentiate the ln x. So as a base function, we take fx equals ln x, which has as derivative 1 over x, and as g prime, so the derivative function, we take a 1, so it has as a primitive, as one of its primitives, we take x. Now, partial integration says that we may use as a known term f times g, which would be x ln x, minus the remainder integral, which is g of x times f prime of x, which is x times 1 over x. So this is just the easy function 1, the constant function 1 that we are integrating. So we get x ln x minus x plus an integration constant c.